sa panayam ng mga defense reporter si Campo Aguinaldo, tuwirang pinabulaanan at pinasinungalingan ni Colonel Antonio Parlare, ang opisyal na tagapagsalita ng Philippine Army, ang mga supporters ng Murong 43 na nagsasabing sila ay mga health workers. But uh, if they will be released, if, if they will be given reprieve or not, uh, doesn't change the fact that they are NPA uh, medics. They are not health workers. NPA uh, medics, not health workers. No, definitely they are not health, health workers. They were, when they were apprehended, we, uh, of course, uh, the, the arrest was done uh, within the bounds of the law. The soldiers were armed with the proper warrants. Sinabi pa ni Parlade na bago bigyan ng amnestia o pardon ng Pangulong Aquino ang Murong 43 ay dapat munang mahubaran sila ng maskara at makilala kung ano ang grupong kinabibilangan nila. But if they will be released and the government confirms that they're NPAs, at least alam ng taong bayan because we owe, we owe it to them, we owe it to our soldiers na, na, ginawa, na gumawa ng arresto ito. Kailangan malaman ng mga tao na hindi naman mga loko-loko yung ang kanilang army sa pagsagawa ng arrest na yon. Nang tanungin kung ano ang reaksyon ng Philippine Army sa mga rekomendasyon ng ilang sektor na palayain at bigyan ng amnestiya ang Morong 43? Well, uh, sa Philippine Army, we are a very professional organization. Whatever the President decides on this issue, of course, we will uh, support that. Uh, we are team player. We are not saying that uh, everybody would be happy. We would be hypocrites pag sinabi namin happy. You know? But just the same, like I said, uh, we will support whatever the decision of the President. Siyami spokesman Colonel Antonio Parlari Jr., RH911, being permanent ng DCRH Nationwide.